Snow White stores may whistle while they work, but no matter how hard they try, spacewalking astronauts cannot. We're still showing 0.6 on the airlock pressure. No, I can't do it. That is astronaut Mike Fossum in the airlock of the International Space Station this month, getting ready for his spacewalk. Just the latest in a long line of astronauts who have tried to whistle while walking in space. Jim Riley logged five spacewalks during his career. Can you whistle in space? You can when it's at normal atmospheric pressure, but when you're in the suit, and the air density is actually so low, you can't whistle. Have you tried? I have, yeah, and uh, you can't do it. It's just not possible. Astronauts are scientists. They understand the science and the physics of it all, but they just keep trying. There is real science, but we are not thinking about that at all. Glenda Brown trains spacewalkers. We are watching the pressure on the suit, the performance of the suit, what are the fan RPMs, how much oxygen does he have, is the pressure in the suit coming down the way it's supposed to. And really, all of a sudden you hear this sound, it's like, what is that sound? He's whistling. So it was like trying to whistle, but you just don't know how. So kind of like... You know how to whistle, don't you, Steve? Yes, Lauren Bacall, they know how to whistle. Astronaut Ron Garin even proved it to us. You just put your lips together and blow. The air Except in space. The air, but I really can't explain uh, uh, a lot about the, uh, probably uh, the, uh, the resonant frequency of the, um, of the cavity of your mouth as you are blowing the air through it like that. It may not be possible, but one thing is sure. Astronauts will keep trying. Matt Gutman, ABC News, Miami.